Why does he have an ice golem in a lava hound deck? What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I got this off meta graveyard deck. This is a deck I made yesterday. Okay, hello dude. Hello King Karst Karsten. Kar Kar Karsten? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to mute this guy. Stop it. Get some help. Cause that's gonna be kind of annoying. So this is a deck I made yesterday. The way I made this deck was I basically used all the, all these great defensive cards in this deck. I use top tier defensive cards being the Hunter, being the Inferno Dragon, being the Goblin Cage, and being the Cannon Cart. And I put all those in a deck and I basically thought, wait, I need a win condition. What's a really good win condition? I came up with the, ooh, this might not be very good at all. Let's go with the Goblin Cage on defense here. I thought of a win condition. Win condition I picked was Graveyard. And this is the deck. This is what I came up with. And so far, it's really, really good. It's cool having the cannon card in the deck because it's a really good card on defense. It's hard to stop just because it has two levels of health. And both are a lot of health. It deals a lot of damage. It's a solid, solid card. And... Ooh, is that gonna get a, no, just a little bit of damage. It's a solid card, but you can also use it on offense. It's it's almost like a win condition too, which is really, really cool in this deck. Having the cannon card as a win condition, a graveyard as a win condition, it gives a lot of versatility. And it's just a, overall, a really solid card. Like right there, it defended a knight, it defended the ice wizard, and it defended the bomb tower. Really, really solid so far. And I'm liking this right now. I'm potentially thinking about going in. I'm thinking about going in. I don't want to poison just because there's not going to be that many units. I'm going to go with the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go with the... He's going to go poison on defense. I'm going to use the Heal Spirit just to heal everything back up. The Hunter's still going to be alive. The Inferno Dragon's going to be alive. Couple of skeleton shots on tower. Hunter's hitting the Ice Wizard, but also hitting tower. So that's really, really good. And just like that, we took the lead. And this is this is going to be... This is, this is basically a meta graveyard deck I'm going up against too. So it's cool to see like a meta graveyard deck versus the graveyard deck I made. And I think this deck is one of the, not only is it one of the best decks I've ever made, but it's honestly one of the best decks I've ever played too. It seems just, it seems like one of those decks where as long as you play it correctly, you just don't lose. As long as you don't make mistakes and don't make any very, very big misplays, you just win. And that, that's always a very, very fun deck. So let's just go with the, the poison on defense here. Just playing it safe. I don't. I think going in the graveyard mirror matchup using offensive poisons is probably better. But right now, I'm in a really good situation. I'm gonna defend, and I'm probably gonna put a cannon cart in front of all this. And now I have a very, very, very big push. He's going for the defensive poison or the offensive poison. So this is my chance to pretty much go in, use the heal spirit to keep all my units alive. Now I got a cannon cart he has to deal with. He doesn't have the poison for the graveyard, so that's getting a little bit of chip. And I could poison here, but I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna go with Goblin Cage on the back. I'm just going to reset on defense. Got the cannon cart did lock on, so that is insane. And then let's go with the Inferno Dragon on defense. Let's go with maybe the cannon up high too. And then let's just go with the poison on defense as well. And that's going to be a very, very solid defense. One more graveyard. Because he went with the offensive poison, the cannon's still going to help on this defense, which is insane. He can't really put his knight too, too high because he just loses. Heal Spirit is going to get the Goblin Brawler. It's going to, I don't think he got the Inferno Dragon, but still a lot of value coming in. A little bit of chip. Inferno Dragon's still alive. Does it get the lock? It does not get the lock. It does. It's probably going to take out the Baby Dragon, though. It's just a really annoying card for the graveyard players to deal with. So let's go with the Cannon Cart again. Let's just keep up this pressure. I'm gonna go with the Bar Barrel, and then I'm also gonna go with another Graveyard. This time I am gonna go for the Poison, just because hopefully I can get a little bit of Poison value. I can get the Baby Dragon, maybe the Ice Wizard as well. He doesn't look like he's playing the Ice Wizard, and now he doesn't really have an offensive push at all. So if he goes in right now, it's not gonna be a hard defense whatsoever. I still have the Cannon on defense too, and this is one Graveyard away from winning. This is gonna be GG, well played. All I gotta do is play a little bit of defense here, and this is, uh, this is all she wrote. We can do a little bridge blocking here. And go Barbaro on defense as well. And that is just, that's just going to be GG. Well played. One more graveyard. And that should be all she wrote. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Did I make, did I make a misplay? I've never made a misplay in my life. That's a GG. Well played. And that's the new meta graveyard deck that I made. This deck is insane. It is so, so fun to play. It's not the most free to play. So you can give a, a couple, of, you can change a couple of units, but I'll, I'll, I'll say the units that you can change in the next battle. Let's go, let's look at it. Boom, we back in it. Let's go into game number two against Fun. And this deck is, I've said this way too many times today. This deck's really solid. 
definitely give it a try. I don't really know what my play is here. I'm just gonna go aggressive. I'm gonna go with the Bar Barrel and the Graveyard on the right side. Hopefully he doesn't have Barbs. Barbs would be able to defend that very easily. And the Arrows are also gonna be able to defend that very, very easily. I still don't really like my situation. So I'm gonna go Cannon Card on the right, put up as, as much pressure as possible. And this Baby Dragon, I'll use the Inferno Dragon for this Baby Dragon. The Inferno Dragon will help take out the, uh, the Lava Hound as well, and I think that's going to be a very, very solid defense. The Ice Golem for the Cannon Cart, though, that was a really, really, really unfortunate trade. That's a 5 for 2 Elixir trade, so that's really bad. It's weird that he has Ice Golem in this deck. Why? What? Why does he have an Ice Golem in a Lava Hound deck? I've never seen this. I've never seen this before. So yeah, go into like some of the things that you can trade in this deck. It's a Graveyard deck, so you can't really trade the Graveyard off at all. Like at all. I think Graveyard's pretty much a staple in this. Uh, I hope this, this Night Witch dies. I'm really hoping so. And that is going to be super bad. He is going to have to steal with this. Uh, the Bloon will get a shot. The Brawler is going to get a couple hits as well. And that tower, I think, is dead. I can't tell. Tower is still alive. 366. Not the end of the world. He's going to probably use like, Ice Skull. No, he's going to go for the Fireball. So he has Fireball Arrows as well. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I can do a couple of things right now. I can go with a graveyard, barb barrel, but that didn't really work last time. I could just go with the cannon cart, but then I could also use the barb barrel to help with this ice golem that he's gonna play. So I can go with the ice golem, help take that out. He's gonna have to play the baby dragon as well, and he's gonna play, okay, that's really, really good. There we go, That's. I think that's the value we were kinda looking for. And now, hopefully this could be the graveyard that wins us this game. Keep that alive. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give him that tower and I'm just gonna go all in on this right side because if we get a tower trade right now, really, really good spot. Really, really good spot. Cannon card's gonna lock on. I'm gonna use the Infernal Dragon just to make sure this balloon doesn't get too much damage. And I think this is gonna be another solid defect because the Hunter is still alive. That's, that's getting roasted. I don't know what this guy's doing. I'm gonna go Hunter for the, the Baby Dragon. And I think I'm just gonna keep going in right now. This, this seems like a, an okay time to just keep putting on a lot of pressure. Inferno Dragon's doing stuff, everything. I didn't even know he had an Inferno Dragon, but still, I still think this is an okay situation. I won. I didn't even see, I didn't even notice I won. Uh, who, who, who won that for me? Was that the cannon card? Because I've been boasting that dude a lot. Or the, whoever won, thank you. Because I was focused on defense, wasn't even paying attention to offense. Just shows you how broken this deck. It just does, it just does the work itself. It gives you three crowns for free. Not only that, but I'm also, I, I don't think I'm low in ladder. I think I'm decently high. I'm 3,000. This is what the deck does. Also kind of a weird deck from the opponent. All right, let's get into the last game. Boom, we back at it. Let's go. What the heck is, how, did, I misplayed that. I 100% misplayed that. Oh no, oh no. What are you doing, Cash? That's not the start we're looking for. This is supposed to be OP deck, not just P deck. P is in like... I don't have to finish that. I'm not going to finish that. So he's got this. Ooh, Scar. Ooh, Heal Spirit OP. Hunter on tower with full health, plus a couple of skeletons. And just like that, one push. One solid defense that I kind of messed up a little bit. And then now this. Do I just keep going, putting on pressure? Do I just keep putting on the pressure? Like, why not? So the cannon cart will be tanking for the barb. No, okay, it didn't really tank. But the barb's going to get two hits three hits now he doesn't have the lumberjack for his balloon push that's not bad at all three hits with the barbarian that's a really good push make sure you do that if you use this deck cannon cart and the bar barrel like if you just use them in tangent not at the bridge necessarily but if you have the cannon cart coming up using the bar barrel is a really really good play because the bar bear the barb itself can just get a lot of value like it just did there it helped kill the lumberjack and it also got on tower got three hits this is awesome and i think this is an okay matchup i think this is a really really solid matchup because right now he still doesn't really have anything I'm gonna wait till. Ooh, that's a really bad hunter. Oh god, he missed. He he lightning the wrong thing. Okay, and now this is where I think I win because he's gonna go with the Skarmy maybe. Yeah, and then I can go with the Bar Barrel, and now he has no big spell and he can't stop this. So that's gonna take tower. Cannon card's gonna survive. Too. 
Cannon Cart did not survive, but he zapped, so it looks like he thought it was going to survive. And just like that, just showing how good this deck is on offense. The Lightning's a little bad against this deck. There's a couple times I lost to a, a, a Sparky uh, Goblin Giant deck with Lightning, and also a couple of these Graveyard, the Golem, uh, yeah, Golem decks. They were they were kind of difficile, very very annoying. Um, here, I'm just going to go Cannon Cart really up high. I'm just going to spread out my units as much as possible, and I think that should be fine. Because the Inferno Dragon can survive a Lightning, that's really, really good. It can survive a Lightning and a Zap, which is really, really good. And then, uh, like, it's it, the, having the Cannon card that can take two Lightnings as well is also really solid. All these things together, you put these all together, and it's just uh, it's a very, very solid deck on defense. It's not too susceptible to Lightning, but Lightning, if you play, like, let's say the Goblin Cage, and you play the, oh, wait a sec, did I just mess this up? Because he can go Lightning. Nope, I did not mess that up. GG, well played. I'm taking that game. And I don't even think I used the Graveyard in that matchup. That was a matchup where I just used the Cannon. So it just shows you that this, there's almost two win conditions in the, this deck. Cannon Cart, kind of OP. Hunter, Infernal Dragon, Goblin Cage, all really good on defense. And then the Heal Spirit, just keep them all alive. This deck is solid, solid, solid. There's not many changes you can make to this deck because all the changes, like I said, if you change anything in this deck, it'd probably be with meta cards like the Knight. The, the, the Musketeer, the, the Skeleton Dragons, the Baby Dragon, the E-Wiz, all those things you can put in. But this is uh, the reason this dab I'm showing off this deck because it's off meta. So give it a try. Let me know how it works. And yeah, freaking let me, let me know in the comment sections below if you guys have any other ideas, any other decks that you guys want me to check out or anything at all. Even if you just want to say hi, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the future. Remember to always drink water and I'll see you then. Doses.